Okay. You gotta do it like this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sebring. Sebring. <laughs> Thanks, girls. <laughs> I became a race fan late in life, and now auto racing is one of my favorite subjects to photograph. While the current cars are very impressive with their technology, I really like the older vintage race cars that came from innovation and weren't bound by all the rules and regulations that have kind of homogenized the sport today. Back in the day, someone could take their ideas and run with them, hoping to create a winning race car. And that's exactly what Jim Hall did with his Chevy-powered prototype, the Chaparral 2. I can remember my brother and I racing our slot cars on the track we set up on the dining room table back in the 60s. And my favorite car in our set was the Chaparral 2. Fast forward to the 2015 12 Hours of Sebring. And now I'm standing next to the actual Chaparral that had won the 12 Hours of Sebring in 1965. Jim Hall and co-driver Hap Sharp drove to that victory in what many consider to be one of the greatest races in Sebring's history. The car had many innovations, including a fiberglass monocoque and a torque converter transmission that allowed the drivers to shift gears without using the clutch. It had some nice aero touches as well. I stood there in awe as I looked the car over while displayed inside the Gallery of Legends at Sebring. Jim Hall II was on hand to answer fans' questions, and best of all, he was going to make a few exhibition laps out on the track before the start of the 63rd running of the 12 Hours of Sebring on March 21, 2015 which was also the 50th anniversary of the Chaparral's historic 1965 victory. It's one thing to see vintage race cars parked in a museum setting as a static display. Hearing them start up and watch them being driven in anger is the dream, and I was about to have mine realized. Let's watch as Jim Hall II straps into the car his dad built to take on Ford and Ferrari and then start it up before heading out on the track for the lucky race fans in attendance that were about to witness a racing legend, the Chaparral 2. <laughs> Push it outside, push it outside. I begged them to start up in here, so they really do. They clear the room pretty fast. In his 60s, doing a superb job, qualifying 15th. We'll turn it over to one of the most talented drivers on the planet, David Murray. They came back to a third place finish at Daytona. Spectacular stuff. So we're looking for that. Qualifying the 16th spot is the other level European Porsche Cayman. It is an offshoot of the, B, uh, the Bimmer World team. All right, turn and it that is Seth Rogers, or Seth Thomas, excuse me, okay. and Dan Rogers who qualified that car as <laughs> number 38. Yeah. And at this point, folks, no it is my duty to say, first call to clear the grid. First call to start clearing the grid. Again, we've got a hard start time on this one. We love that this series allows everybody to get down here get out there on the track and enjoy the cars, maybe meet one of the drivers, or more than a few, but at this one, Raymond.
At this point, it is uh, our time to start clearing the grid and make sure that we can get this one underway. So, uh, and I'm going to pause once again because the, uh, you know, the pole drivers in these categories have to start. So this guy's kind of anxious to get back to the car. Just as this can tell, we were joking about Super Sub in Daytona. I think that's a firm mantle now. What a job again, filling in for somebody and qualifying second straight pole on the season. You better be a full-time driver by the next round of the championship, or we're going to start hurting some people. Well done. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's. Uh, exciting opportunity. It's pretty cool to be back with the Alara crew because uh, when I first started racing, I was racing with Alara and MX5 Cup. Um, so I'm the opportunity to be back with Alara and then to come out my first time with them again. It's only their second race in the series, so they've done a phenomenal job getting the car ready and getting it hooked up again. Uh, but it's just cool to be back uh, back with Miles and back with, you know, basically family between team and uh, the car and, you know, manufacturing and everything. Uh, so we're really excited to be here. Help make it car smooth. To to. There's, yeah. something about, uh, there's really something about Miles that just, it's just um, really fun to drive. You really kind of laugh the whole way around the track. It just makes, makes the job a whole lot easier. Your great car is so great. But we have to ask you now, you put a Cayman on the pole, they throw a Mazda here, you're on pole here in the Mazda, two of Caymans behind you. What's the strengths and differences and weaknesses in these cars? I mean, I think we're in for an absolutely brilliant race. Yeah, the, the start's definitely going to be exciting. Um, you know, the, the Caymans are um, a little longer wheelbase, a little more decline over some of the bumps. They're definitely uh, going to have a little bit more top speed than we will, a little bit more power. Uh, whereas we're going to be a little stronger on the brakes and uh, we're going to be really good in the long, long run. So our big goal right now is hoping that, you know, the rear engine and all that rear weight, they're going to burn the rear tires off of it and maybe since we're a little bit lighter and we're not putting uh, quite as much power to the wheel, maybe we can hang on to the rear tires a little longer and, and be better on the long run. So I'm hoping for no caution. You want green is what you want all the way to those checkers, man. Well, good luck and again, congratulations. Phenomenal job filling in with these two cars, putting them both on full. It doesn't get any better than that. Have a great run.
and we're going to be focusing on the front of the field because the, those two fast guys have been fast here, Jesse Lazare and Elliot Skier. Will Skier trying to make a move at the first corner? We're about to find out. The green flag is 100 yards in the air. It's Exactly it. 